Hello friends, in this video we're going to discuss about one of the main issue of all the WordPress blog. No matter whatever optimization you have done, but still if you feel that your WordPress blog is very slow, then you may not know that is one reason for which your website may be very slow. So this is called the Heartbeat API. So I'm going to take you through about the Heartbeat API and I'm going to tell you like how to control the Heartbeat API so that your WordPress blog can be much faster. Okay. So before that, let me give you uh, the issue that I was facing for my website. So let me go to gtmatrix.com. So here if I see uh, the statistics or the speed of my blog, it is showing about 4.2 second fully loaded time. So let me go to waterfall chart and let me see what is causing that. So if I go down all the way down, I can see that there is something called admin-ajax.php which is taking almost about one second and I'm not sure why it is causing that right other things like uh, it is taking 1.18 second this is caused by the could be my cache plugin which is fine and the other one again the cache plugin that is fine but this is something that I'm not sure why it is causing so this is <coughs> if you go into that and go to the post section you can see that there is something called TA link fixer so which is causing uh, to run the script and this is what you call heartbeat API okay so what it does that it will send continuous pulses to the web server so that there is a connection between the web server and the web browser so it will keep on checking every 15 second uh, that there is a connection between the web server and the web browser if there is more plugin using heartbeat api you can see that this php script is taking more than two many sorry two seconds or three seconds my website is optimized still it is taking about one second and that is unnecessary okay so i have to stop this so then i can save at least one second and you know right saving one second speed is a big deal right so let me do a quick check what is this ta underscore link underscore fixer so uh as per my knowledge it could be because of one plugin which is uh, thirsty affiliates right so let me go there and check that So this script is getting executed because of one plugin which is thirsty affiliate and under that is the option which is causing uh, this uh, PHP script to be running okay so I'll stop the script and you'll gain a bit of more speed for your blog so I'll show you how to do that so in my case uh, it was because of some setting so here is the option which was checked before and that is the reason it was running the heartbeat api so now i uncheck that and uh, if i click on save then this issue will go off this post admin post admin uh, hyphen adjust.php won't run as because i have unchecked that okay let me run and cross check that so 
so for my case it was because of a plugin setting uh, which I unchecked and solved my problem but in your case maybe uh, you have some other issues and you are not sure which plugin is causing or which setting is causing so I'll give a quick fix with the help of that you can completely disable this heartbeat API okay so now if you see that the speed has been increased from 4.2 to 1.2 okay if I go to waterfall chart you can see that uh, the option that uh, post uh, admin hyphen adjust.php is not there and my site is much faster so you can see that there's a difference from 4.2 to 1.2 there's a huge difference so because of your heartbeat api your website is loading very slow now i'll show the quick fix how to block that for your blog so there are two ways one you can use any plugins or the other way is you can add some code in your function.php and that will solve your problem so first of all i will show you how to do that using uh, a plugin so on this topic i have written one blog post so for that you have to go to blogbuys.com you have to go to how to limit heartbeat api in wordpress so i have written a little instruction how to control this api okay so i'll give the link in the description so if you want you can check it out so now i am in my wordpress dashboard let's go to plugins and go to install plugins So already I have installed this plugin Heartbeat Control by WP Rocket. So this is a very famous uh, uh, developer who develops WP Rocket. So they have this Heartbeat Control uh, plugin. Okay, if you want to add that, you can click on Add New, and here you can search for Heartbeat Control. Okay. So you will get this heartbeat control plugin make sure you install the plugin which is developed by this wp rocket okay and before doing any changes make sure you take a backup of your website so that if something goes wrong you can retrieve that for that you can use updraft plus plugin which is really a great plugin for taking a backup now let me go to heartbeat control settings for that let me go to settings and go to heartbeat control <coughs> here you can disable the heartbeat for the wordpress dashboard if you do so you will dashboard will be much faster make sure that for the front end you have to disable the heartbeat because if you don't do that your users will get a, a slow website for the post editor you have to disable the heartbeats if you feel so but if you do so make a note that your post on the auto saved and post revision feature won't be uh, allowed if you disable that so if you feel that you can leave with that then you can disable the heartbeat for post editor personally i will disable all these three things okay in case if you feel that that uh, by disabling the heartbeat you are facing some issues you can modify the timing by default heartbeat api send pulses in every 15 seconds so you can increase the timing so what is happening that let's example let's uh, say like i'm making it about 60. so the heartbeat api will send pulse in every 60 seconds right so uh you know for after every one minute your website might be slow but in that one minute it was much faster so changing frequency also might help you so with the plugin you can disable or you can modify the heartbeat frequency time all right and you can click on save changes now if you don't want to use the plugin so you can use some codes and 
with that codes you can uh, control the heartbeat api so for that you have to go to my blog post you have to go down you have to copy this piece of code after that you have to go to your uh, wordpress directory so i'm showing you in my uh, local host so it's in my computer in your case it will be in it will be cpanel or whatever panels you are using you have to go to your theme folder i'll prefer to make the change in the child theme so let me go there let me go to blog by child after that you have to go to function.php and at the end you have to add the code okay and save the file so that's all your uh, heartbeat api will be controlled now with the help of this piece of code So friend that's all in this video I hope you got an idea how to control heartbeat so go ahead and control the heartbeat and with the help of that you will be much faster thanks for watching